Okay, it seemed to start. Hi. The Tech Rabbit here again. Yeah, my name's Rolf. And um, now we're going to look at a little bit of an oddball item that one usually doesn't buy for the computer nowadays. Yeah, look, I bought a sound card. And um, these I haven't owned for years because usually you have the. Um, Ah, the sound's embedded in the uh, motherboards nowadays, so, you know, the discrete uh, sound cards have disappear. But this time I thought I'd um, up the ante when it comes to um, sound-related interfacing. So, um, so what I really wanted to have is a little bit better solution for um, analog microphones, um, you know, with very low noise level if I would like to expand to using more than the mics that I, mic that I currently have set up. And this would enable that, and I wouldn't need to buy such expensive microphones either, so I could just have this so you protect, you connect into the analog input. Uh, then I'd like to have, um, yeah, for gaming and music listening, for I like to have a, a little bit more higher level of quality for earphones, and that's sadly usually lacking in the onboard audio. It doesn't matter what level you have, or if you don't, to go to extremely expensive motherboards. Um, that I haven't got enough money for. Uh, and then the interesting thing is that there are some features in separate sound cards that um, um, support better um, spatial sound for games because it has its it has a higher level of local processing. Um, uh, and then um, I would like to have an SB DIF um, optical output for my um, external audio system and um, sadly that's lacking in many many motherboards and some motherboards they say they're included and then they say oh but you need to buy a separate so anyway false alarm back again so far at least I have the flu season where I'm living um yeah so um, those were the kind of little bit of background reasons why I decided to go for a separate um, sound card. They're not exactly cheap, um, so if one hasn't got special requirements, then I don't think that one should actually invest. But anyway, I thought we could sort of unbox this. I'm not going to go into extreme levels of technical detail. Um, other than the highlight some of its main points, which is the l low noise level on analog outputs and then the local, uh, the onboard processing of audio up to seven channels. And, um, well, let's see what this, what this looks like then. Oh, it's kind of a fancy, fancy layout. How does one get into the box? That's the question. Oh, there. Looks like one um, will have to open it here. Oops, show that. There we go. And it just opens like that. Let's see if I can. You really like to break the box. I oh, didn't need to break the box. It slides up nicely. They've kind of in, invested in box design, selling such an expensive product. So let's see what the box contains. Uh, and again, quite nicely separated with packing materials. So this will be easy to, because we do, um, where I live, we, you have to sort separately the um, plastic from the paper uh, or cardboard. So it's actually nice when you get products that um, where you can actually separate those the packing materials. So that's the bottom part. Don't really understand. Aha! This is to protect the. So if I show this here, that's that side, and then we have this side. And it actually comes with extra packing materials. I think I will actually keep that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we need to separate all that stuff. And what we get here? 
first one. Oh, we got a sticker. Well, that's quite nice. And then the, one of the most important things for me is the is that it comes with an adapter to convert the digital SP diff signal to um, optical. So can't really see the adapter inside the package. I should take it out. Okay. So I'm assuming one takes, I haven't read the instructions, but I think you take that protection off and then this is the output side of it. So then you just plug the, yeah, anybody who's dealt with these optical cables knows that's the optical cable just goes. The good, good thing with this kind of separate sound card solution with its own SBDF output optical is that one can then change the motherboard and one can just move over the sound card and one doesn't have to actually make sure that the motherboard has the SPDIF output and then it has safety information we throw that away immediately <laughs> okay then we have the um, possibility to play some some World of Warships which I don't think I'll be playing but we can probably uh, oh that card is thing. I'm not really into warships. VIP member warranty notice. Um, also something I don't care about. If it breaks, I'll throw it away and get a new one. Okay, look, it actually comes with a driver CD. I don't know if <laughs> I would never I actually don't have a CD drive on the new machine, and I probably will never ever install drivers from the CD. But we we'll keep it for for the time being. And then it has some instruction uh, say, uh, safety information. Is there a little safety okay. So there's actually three levels of this cart. So this one is the strict sour, 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 whatever. Yeah. So then, um, what this means is that this is just the. I mean, basically, you say this is just the sound cart. And then they have one level up where you um, you get this kind of control unit that you can have. Have, um, and connect in so that you can actually control certain features from like you can have it on your desk and then you can switch between audio modes or get easy access to the um, microphone or earphone outlet and other things but I, I, that's in the next model up and then the third model up actually it has a little bit I think that one uh, what was it called I think it's Right, this one was called SOAR, and the next level up is called uh, DLX, and then, then there's PRO. I wonder if I actually have a table. Well, I wasn't really interested in that control unit. Makes it actually quite a bit more expensive. So thought it wasn't worth it. Let's see, I'm just going to quickly check if it has, if it actually has any information. Mm, I suppose the most interesting thing is where the SP diff adapter goes in, and that you put into the bottom, bottom connector. So just down there. And otherwise, if you have an analog speaker system, then it's just to um, ah, connect in the usual cable. So it supports analog. Um, and then microphone goes on the top. And headphones. But you get the instructions with it. If you but, um, yeah, under limited circumstances, I think it's actually a good purchase. 
since I'm uh, this is the channel PC upgrade, so build has actually become a build instead of an upgrade. <laughs> then um, I think this is actually going a good purchase um, for the longevity of the. And since I actually missed out on the fact, or actually when I bought the motherboard I'm using, which is like a side comment, then. Um, it said that it had an SP diff connector, but that meant that it had a digital output on the motherboard, but it didn't have the didn't have the um, uh, optical output. So that's a bit sad. So then, for the optical output, you would need to buy a separate adapter card, and that ended up being like 40 US dollars to get it to my location. And then this is 70, and this is like a yeah completely you know its own independent standalone. Uh, sound system or yeah sound chip implementation with higher level of performance and stuff I thought it was stupid to uh, add that to the motherboard so I ended up coming with this there are other um, uh, sound cards could actually um, I'll probably add a link to the comments to a um, to a review of this card and some comments about it the, one could have gone for another another brand, but the thing is that my motherboard is Asus, so uh, yeah, kind of like Asus equipment. So I thought I'd just keep it the keep it within the family and, and um, yeah, use, use Asus equipment. What I intend to do is to um, I'll switch back the camera. So I'm just going to keep it in this box like this. Uh, with the instructions and CD, even though if I'm not going to use it, and I can close that up and I'll throw everything else away. And then, um, so, um, yeah, if you found this video um, interesting, would like to follow some, some of the progress because now, uh, you know, after I've done these, this unboxing and other unboxing videos, then I'm actually progressing towards actually putting the um, channel PC together and um, if you'd like to see that then um, you know please subscribe you know hit the bell button to get notified of new videos and um, yeah that'll be kind of cool yeah it's been a long time since I've, I when I was younger than we only I mean motherboards didn't have sound on them so then you had to buy sound card so then it was um, you know sound blaster sound cards and stuff no no <laughs> sound cards have become niche products <laughs> yeah. so uh, but um yeah gonna give this a, r a rundown so if you follow up in my build video that I'm actually going to actually uh, use the software that comes with this but that will be after I have the build done but I think I'll make a video about that just uh, what the audio software looks like and then uh, have some performance comments in general run a few games and stuff and see, see what I what I can um, what my experience is with this but I hope it's worth the money uh, it wasn't exactly something that I intended to spend money on but then I actually started thinking it through then I thought okay you know I get you know I, I get um, very good analog input for a potential extra cheaper microphone I get good support for earphones it should be able to drive quite a large scale of earphones and then um, uh, definitely one thing I'm looking for is that I do a little bit of gaming so uh, you know it's got its own localized built-in sound processing so uh, yeah, on a bit of a bit of a higher level than usually what one finds on motherboards so um, yeah, it might be interesting to see how that, how that works. So, okay. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see everybody in the next one.